what's up guys today we're going to be going over the drastic green the festival lost pulse along with the bxr and a few other primaries in the game and i think i just found my new favorite primary in destiny 2 and that is what we're going to be going over in this video but before we get into all that good stuff a quick word from today's video sponsor this video is sponsored by dps games they're working on an awesome new hero vehicle shooter for pc codename arena clash that is packed with epic characters and intense vehicle combat you'll lead your hero in incredible 15 vs 15 battles the game is still in early development but they're looking for players to take part in a large multiplayer playtest from november 7th to 11th and if you want to be among the first to play arena clash you can head to their steam page link will be in the description to get access to the game and be sure to join their Discord so you don't miss the playtest and know all of the little details to make sure you show up at the right time. Once again, thanks to DPS Games for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you on the battlefield. So starting off with the Jurassic Green, hopefully you guys heeded my warning or other creators' warnings of what rules to get on this weapon when I made that first video. I know this is kind of late to be uploading a video about it, but I've been sick the past two weeks and I couldn't really upload this video before today but this weapon comes with subsistence in the left plus incandescent or adrenaline junkie in the right both of which are going to be extremely good rolls and it's a slower pulse so looking at that in the game at first with incandescent just like all the other incandescent weapons before it i mean it just absolutely melts incandescent is like a firefly that doesn't need a precision kill and it synergizes extremely well with solar 3.0 once the enemy has enough Scorch stacks applied to it, it will then explode. And depending on your supply setup, it could spread to more enemies. And overall, it's just one of the best perks in the game. And with subsistence on this weapon, normally it reloads 6 bullets per kill. But the thing about it is it combos perfectly with incandescent. And all the incandescent kills, whether from the burn or the ignitions, will count for subsistence and reload the weapon so just getting a single kill could result in proccing that like four or five times and you'll never have to reload the weapon with that combo in most content you can also run with the adrenaline junkie version for more damage just like usual you can get five kills to get up to times five or a single grenade kill will get you the full stack instantly so this will work really well with you know solar 3.0 grenade builds and help you do a little bit more damage with the pulse but if you just run the classic elemental will mods for the solar subclass, so let's say Bountiful, Explosive Wellmaker, Ordnance, Quantum Might, and even Armaments or Well of Life, you're gonna be creating solar wells all over the place with incandescent and your grenades and picking those up will give you the Phantom Might weapon buff. So that'll kind of be like a damage perk in a way and helps you kind of take advantage of incandescent without really giving up, you know, a damage perk. So compare that to the BXR, which just got updated this season, and I did not make a video on it yet, but that's definitely a mistake. This scene is absolutely insane. So it's gonna be a pretty similar roll, but in the left, it's gonna have demo, and it's gonna be a 450 custom frame, kind of like the BR from Halo, where you can hit fire it very accurately. The main difference between this and the Jurassic Green is we can craft it, which means enhanced perks. Enhanced demo will give you slightly more grenade energy per kill, then the enhanced incandescent what it will do is it will make the burn last longer which means it should apply more scorched stacks and if you kill a more powerful enemy it will be a larger radius both of which are actually very noticeable for an enhanced perk so jumping in and looking at this weapon the enhanced demo isn't that huge of an upgrade compared to just regular demo i think at best it's like one less kill depending on the situation to get your grenade back but just like we had subsistence on the Jurassic green then we will make it so we don't have to reload the weapon if we just throw our grenade so once again a perk that makes it so we don't have to reload but now demo also gives us grenade energy back so in my opinion as you guys know demo is basically the best perk in the game for the left column of most weapons so that is a huge plus for me and it definitely gets the win in that category then the right you know they both have incandescent this one is enhanced so it should be slightly better and the huge difference for me with the bxr is for pulses and scouts for harder content we're going to be really far away they're great right but when you get to lower tier content we're kind of closer or in like the mid range that is where especially scouts can feel very clunky but with the bxr with the hip firing i think it really excels at all ranges and the thing about demo plus incandescent just like the incandescent plus subsistence is it will proc the demo perk so we go ahead and throw both our grenades and get kills just getting one kill and letting the scorch kill everything else as you see it will proc the demo perk on those kills 
and it will give you grenade energy. So before you know it, you'll have your next grenade or both your grenades depending on your subclass and you'll constantly have them up to be able to throw them to avoid reloading. So overall, these perks pair perfectly together just like the Jurassic Green. So when it comes to these two pulses, they're both in like the elite category of PvE primaries in Destiny 2, right up there with the mini tool with Incandescent and some of the Volt Shot primaries from this season. I think Incandescent and Volt Shot are by far the best perks for primaries in PvE. And when we look at the weapons they've been on so far, the mini tool is obviously amazing for lower tier content, but once you get to harder stuff, it kind of falls off. And with the Volshot weapons that we've got this season, the two primaries, one is the sidearm, which are good, but they're not necessarily great. And it's on a scout, which is gonna be good for hard content, but scouts are very clunky in my opinion for just like normal content. Once you're in that close range, you have to be like cracked out to hit your shots. And it just feels like way too much work for very little reward. And that is where the BXR in my opinion, just like clears the entire list and is by far the best. It being a pulse makes it automatically one of the best options for harder content in the game right up there with scouts but where pulses and scouts usually fall off is for easier content that's when you want to run like an smg or even a sidearm something that is just gonna get the kills a lot quicker and be a lot easier to use in those close to medium ranges but with the bxr with the hip fire once you get good at it you can really use it at whatever range just like an SMG, and don't take my gameplay as a great example of this. I haven't been playing FPSs in like the past month or so, so yeah, my aim is not great right now. Then for hard content, you know, it's still a pulse with a scope on it, so you can be far away and hit all of your shots. So it's really the best of both worlds, and it's really hard to beat. I mean, it honestly might be the best primary in the game, and definitely my new favorite for PvE. And the dress of green is very strong too. And I'd put it in that same category of, you know, some of the best picks for the game. But I am excited to see in the future what weapons have Volshot on it. I think Volshot arguably could be better than Incandescent, but it's just not on a great weapon so far. If it was on a Pulse or SMG or something like that, I think it would have a really good shot of being one of the best weapons in the game. And we have seen that it's going to be on the Deep Stone Crypt hand cannon, so that could be pretty cool. And it looks like it's going to be in the left column on that weapon. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works. And if there's different weapons in the game with it in the future. But right now, I think the BXR is definitely the king of Destiny 2 primaries. And if you haven't jumped into dares yet to get it, you definitely should. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Just a little bit of striking play left with the Jurassic Green. Usual links for watching. Catch you guys next time.